Hello and welcome back to Hellblade Senua's Sacrifice. I am Junior. So, once again, in editing, I found the thing that I missed. So, we're gotta click back in the game. We're gonna quickly activate this one. Sigmund's sister trades shapes with the sorcerers. All right. And in disguise, she lies with her own brother. So I'm not going to have to listen to that one because apparently these ones don't activate in order. After time, he tests and with them not activating in order, that means for some reason I uh, noticed that not all of them were activated. But that means... Okay... Some of them unactivated from the last time I played. So I'm gonna quick see if... I think it's the ones at the tree, to be honest. So we'll find out. Okay, yes, it was the ones at the tree that reset themselves, so I'm gonna... As Sigmund and Sinfjotli are being buried alive... Yeah, Sigmund's we heard this one. So it's the other one... Into the this one Hidden should be, uh... One that I haven't heard yet. The gift of Odin. They cut their way out of the grave. And now for the one that we missed. And here is the end of Sigmund's story. He was a fierce and great warrior who fought many battles. But one day, an old man came onto the battlefield. Although shadowed by a hood, Sigmund saw that he only had one eye. The man raised his spear, and Sigmund struck at it with his sword, but the sword shattered into pieces. Sigmund then knew that this was Odin, and thus that victory could not be his. He bowed his head and accepted his end. Well, that's good on him. He tells his wife that she is with child and that her son will one day make a great weapon out of the fragments of his sword. The sword named Gram. Fantastic. Okay, now, now that we've heard the end of the story and I am on par with all my runestones, I'm going to hope that I don't have to listen, watch this cutscene again. Looks like I'm watching the cutscene again. Okay, now that we are exactly where we left off, let's start by going to this shard, because it's the first one I looked at when they were all activated. Or something like, I don't know. Let's see where this takes me. A king in the north forced the dwarves to make a sword that would never fail and never rust and that would slice through iron and stone and bring victory to its bearer. But the angry dwarves cursed it. It would be the death of a man every time it was drawn. And it would be the death of the king. Let me tell you about the sword Tyrving. I don't recognize this place. Where are we? Where is she? It feels wrong. Where are we now? <laughs> I feel like I have to fight a uh, dwarf with a powerful it's so sword. strange that we go to such lengths to bury death. Something so very ordinary. Inevitable. I'm going to look around real quick. It's as if we conspire to hide death. Because we have no answer for it. But when it comes and forces itself onto our friends or loved ones, then comes the reckoning. See, this is why I wanted to look around this way first. Senua, you remind me of a story that the Northmen tell about a young woman warrior. Her name is Herver the daughter of a berserker, born after he was killed. She's a wild, willful child, 
who teaches herself to fight with weapons. When she learns where her father is buried, her only desire is to reclaim the treasure buried with him, but above all, the sword, Tyrving. All right, so I gotta fight, face off against whoever's got Tyrving. Do I have to fight a berserker? I mean, if I know anything about the stereotypical berserker, this guy is going to attack a lot. He's going to attack hard. I bet he's wearing fur. Is he going to chew on a shield as well? Well, would you look at that? I don't like this. Is there a, a lower stone? There is not a lower stone. Is there a lower stone? There is not a lower stone. All right. We're going in. Good sign. Go in. You have to go in. Take the torch. It's too dark. Take oh. it. Yes. I went through the motions of pulling the torch, and then I heard someone say, "Take the torch." Who's there? I bet a berserker. Dillian, I'm here. I'm here for the trials. Like when we first met, remember? It's I'll not find Dillian. him. Right, I'm gonna go this way and find out what was down the other option. <gasps> Like this. Where are you, Tuller? Ah, uh, there he is. There he is. Dillian, there he is. Finally, you found him. Oh, What's wrong? He's gone. What happened? Can you hear me? How did you let him go? Let him Just wait go. there. I'll find you. you. Alrighty then. You have to find him. This is your so that's a problem. Find him. Find him, get him back. He's just there. How could you lose him? How could she lose him? How could she? Lose him? <sighs> it's not my fault he's gone. That's just the remnants of his. Oh my god, they actually stopped talking when I did. That's impressive. It's not my fault he's gone. It was the Northmen. They're the ones who are causing all this problem for me. All this problem? English! English is my first language. Down here would be a horrible place to hide a rune stone, a lore stone, because the lore stones down here would be impossible to find. You bastards! Found it! Hervor disguises herself as a man to join a band of warriors, and soon becomes their leader. When they come to the island where her father is buried, her men do not want to go ashore. They say that evil haunts the island and that it is a worse place by day than other places are by night. Fearless, she lands alone. There are many grave mounds, and all of them have ghostly flames burning over them. She comes to the grave mound of her father after passing through these ghostly fires as though they were mist. The flames I passed through were real enough. Damn the Northmen to hell. Well... You got your wish, because they are here. Can I light this? Oh, I can't light the brazier. God damn it. And there's Dillion again. The, the chorus of the dead. I just cannot escape it. Does that mean there's more lore stones? I'm touching the wall! Torch. That was some mystic 
mystic lighting if oh 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 what is this that I spy? Yet another lore stone. I can hear him. Within the burial mind, Herver calls on her father to wake from death and bring her his sword. She says that it is not seemly for the dead in their grave minds to bear valuable weapons. Her father answers with words of warning. You go to your doom. Baleful runes surround you. You have gone mad. You have lost your mind. Your thoughts are confused. It is dangerous to wake the dead. Like I said, she reminds me of you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, I can see why. Okay, so. That seemed like the correct direction to go, and I there is definitely one more lore stone somewhere in this mound. I wonder where. Find another way. It's not working. You have to use your mind. Where can you go? You're failing. Find another think, way. Really? Think, think, focus. <sighs> use your mind. Where's he gone? He's disappeared. You let him slip through your fingers once again. Think so is this a new one, or is this one I just... That's the one I just hit. Okay. So that's why there was some the mystic bullshit going on. I don't know which way is which, which way leads me to the lore stone, which way leads me forward. That is why bilingual, or bilingual, binaural sounds are useful. Oh, for fuck's sake. Where's... That looks like a room for a lore stone. It's not a room for a lore stone. That voice doesn't sound like Dillian. What's happening? It's Don't know. Him, it can't be. But I'm going back, just to double check all the rooms. If I don't find anything, I will be back at this spot going forward. So you either see me now or you don't. Oh, what's in here? Is there anything interesting? Nope. Okay. Can I light the ceiling on fire? Nope. Okay. Oh! I know what just happened. It looped me back. Oh, no, never mind. Hey, look, what's that? Herver ignores her father's warnings. The grave mound opens, and it seems to be full of fire. Again, Herver demands her inheritance. But her father warns her that the sword is cursed and would be the bane of her family. But he relents and brings her the sword. She leaves the island with it. But the curse holds true. Of course and it death does. would follow in the years to come. And so, Senua, the misdeeds of a father have cursed his daughter. Yep. Okay, so if I move forward on this way, do I... No, I can't move forward on this way. All right, we found the thing we were looking for. Now I gotta go back to that spot, and hopefully I find it quickly. Okay, we're back in our little cove. To find him. I'm lost without him. So, what's beyond cove number one? Two, three, this cove. This little place. This place. It's not Dillion. No, it is not. Okay, 
so I'm going this way. It's only getting slightly more terrifying as I go. That's a good sign. Let me walk towards the death. Oh. Oh. So what's over here? I heard a voice, which means there's a face nearby. Where's the face? Mommy. Mom. I heard you, Mom. Turns out. Oh, that. Those are sounds. Turns out it is Senua's mother's. Whose face I see. She whispers so sweetly into my ear. Fine. I'm going towards the death. Achievement unlock and escaped. I've got to fight the berserker first. Wait, I can't. I'm missing a sword. See the darkness in your eyes, child. I met a boy. Boy? The chief no. He said he could help me. It's a trick. He said I could be normal. Normal? Yes. No boy is going to save you. No one can. When they see the rot growing no. inside you, no. they will turn their back on you. The gods can only fix you through my hand. You're going nowhere. No. You will not defy the gods. Come, child, take my hand. Come, send one. You cannot escape the darkness. Your curse will make everyone suffer. You will have blood on your hands! Alright! Thanks, Dad! I'm glad to make you proud! Oh, and I, I bet you blame me for the Northmen coming and killing everybody. I guarantee that's exactly what he's thinking in his wherever he ended up. I can do another one. If I can find the path to get to it. But not the path to get to it. Am I really not allowed to just walk down? Fine. I'll do this. How do you like me now, motherfucker? Alright, now for the second. Stone, come here and grace me with your face. What? I want to tell you a story about a god of the Northmen called Baldur. The second son of Odin. He was beautiful, good, and wise. He was fair of feature. He spoke fair words. He gave fair judgments. Light shone from him. Only good things were told of him. 
Good. Yet he was the first of the gods to die. That's unfortunate. Why? Why did he die? Why is it raining now? Is Boulder the one who's helping me? Is that Boulder? Is this the area with two root, uh, lore stones? Hello, face. You're not even subtle. Almost like the Valravan Keep again. The bridge. It's not broken. It's fixed. What? That it's exactly what I just was thinking. It's fixed. Let's cross it. <gasps> Lorestone? Is this the one with two? It is not. This is betray. Ah, us is later. The Northmen tell this story about the death of Baldur. It begins with dark dreams. Night after night. Baldur dreams of his own death, and the gods fear for his life. So Baldur's mother makes everything in the world. Fire, water, iron, stone, earth, wood, beasts, birds, serpents, poison, sickness. Swear an oath not to harm her son. One by one, they each make their vow. Neither weapons nor wood will injure him, Baldur's mother boasts. Only Loki, father of Hela, the mistress of death, is not amused. Ah! Do I get to meet Loki? That'd be fun. Didion is in the Don't forget. You can fit. Let me see the rune. You need the runes to fight. You need Didion. So I'll find that rune at a later time. I can He's only imagine. He loves you. Calling you. Yep. But Dillion's dead. His head's on my ass. All right. So this is going to be a lot of going back and forth in this area. Gate's not open. Gate's fucking gone. What's behind the gate? Where will it take you? It's insane. See, gate's gone. I know what's behind the gate. That's not a lore stone. That's another face. Dillian, there he is. There he is. What are you waiting for? Quick, find a way. Find him. Go through. There's too many of him. Don't lose him. Going to lose him the moment I go through here. Disappear. Dillian, there he is. Quick. Where is he? Where's he going? Where in the rock was he? He's not here. She's in the yeah, of course she's not. Oh, it's locked. Okay. He's in the dark world. Ooh. Oh, everything to him. The world won't seem so simple. Hello, beautiful. This voice first. Darkness and light. Narrow dividing lines of our own making. Dillian taught her to see further. To peek through the cracks and see the worlds of color stretching away from the gloom. And Senna explored new paths into the unknown. Do you think she remembers him? Him as in Dillion? Don't know. Let's see what Druth has to the say. The gods feast and rejoice and amuse themselves by throwing spears and stones at Baldur, striking at him with sword and axe. But he comes to no harm, whatever they do. 
the gods never cease to wonder at this great marvel. But Loki shapes himself into a woman and asks Baldur's mother, is it really true that all things promise to keep him safe? I did not ask the mistletoe, Baldur's mother confesses. I thought it was too young. Oh dear. Ha! Ha ha! Ha ha! So it's mistletoe that kills him. I can see the rune. It's caused by that. It's the light there. Let's go in here. Actually, out there. Let's find out if there are more lore stone. I hear a voice again. Mother! Mother, is that you? I don't care about Dillion right now. There's mother around. I heard her. I heard her again. I'm not absolute. Oh! That's not creepy at all. We spend our lives searching for the meaning in life. And we ask the gods for guidance. But the truth to life is revealed when we can face death without fear. How can the gods understand us if they refuse to die themselves? I I can I can tell what you're getting at there, mother. I I I missed your advice. I, I I missed your advice from the previous uh previous uh what you wanna call it trial. Wait, so I wonder. Do you remember how he made you feel? I imagine light and bubbly. Yes, I understand where I have to go. Oh look! I can actually see it right there. He was the only one who didn't mind the curse. You can't go up there. Not, not there. in this world. No. Not uh, okay. Not Fine. I'll activate the room. Fantastic. Why isn't he here? Because we're He's in gone. the wrong world. He's in the dark world. He's gone no, to wait. the dark world. You're in the wrong world. I can just go over here He's and walk around the front of the house. The dark world without you. But I want to go upstairs because I imagine there's lore stones up there. Do you think she remembers him? She should have listened. Why didn't she listen? There he is. She knew she could so, obviously, the moment I enter in there is the moment that this area is done. But I really want to go upstairs. Oh, maybe there's a dark, dark world lore stone over here. Look what happens to the things. There is not. Oh, you bastards! Those are not good sounds. I can get up? I can get up in the light world if I go across this bridge up the other side. And if I open this 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 door in the light world, it will not be what I need it to be. Oh, hey, I recognize this place. Because I meet Hella halfway across the bridge. Okay, maybe it's in the dark world I can open the door and not have a thing. I'm really nervous about this right now because I do not want to progress until I get the lore stones. One of the few games I'm trying to be a completionist in. Yeah, yeah, 
Because that's where she breaks the bridge, at the edge. Wait, no. We're coming up, up to the place in, uh, on the side. Good, a lower stone. There he is. Where are you taking He's up there. He's up there. How do you get up there? There's a way. Easy. There is a way up there. By fixing the stairs with my mind magic. Loki makes a dart out of mistletoe and goes to the gods as they throw things at Baldur. The blind god. Huth was there. Loki asks him why he wasn't taking part. Huth says, I cannot see where Baldur stands, and even if I could see him, I have no weapon. Loki replies, Here is a wand. I will tell you where he stands. And Huth throws the mistletoe at Baldur. It pierces through him, and to everyone's horror, Baldur is killed. This hood is slain. Ah, so apparently, this one might only have the three, and then I have to find. Do you know? Was it worth it? Okay, then. Never... Oh. Alive and Hi, friend. The Northmen tell how the gods mourned Baldur. His body was to be burnt on his ship, but they could not manage to push it into the sea and sent for a giantess to do it. She comes riding a wolf and has vipers for her reins. She pushes Baldur's ship into the sea with such force that the ground shakes and the rollers burst into flames. When Baldur's wife sees his body carried onto the ship, her heart bursts with grief and she dies. She's put next to her husband, and the pyre is lit, sending the dead to hell. But even so, the gods cannot accept his death. All right. Yep. Yeah, that that makes sense. Okay. Hello. All right. Your curse has claimed Dillian. It's not my curse. Poor Dillian. He didn't know. Years had passed since she left her father. She trained hard alongside her friend, Dillian. She saw things no one else could. Patterns, shapes, movement. An intuition that made her an exceptional warrior. Friendship turned to love. But the shadow of darkness never let her go, and she was caught between two worlds. That of Zinbel and her past, and Dillian, her future. Two realities tearing at her soul. Curse. And now the darkness is swallowing you both. You have no time for this. Speak. All right. Fantastic. Wait, yeah, the door opens this way. The trials give me a chance to have an awesome sword, girls. Where? I need more loot, lore stones. So what kind of... Oh, so I'm near... I'm near another already. Where? How so... Oh, I see a lore stone. Whoa. 
So tell me, what happens if I look over this way? Oh, another lore stone! Ain't He's that reason she keeps lovely? Fighting. Overcome with grief, the gods send Hermod to ride to Hell and ask Hela to let Baldur return home. All the gods are weeping, he says. Are they? asks Hela. We shall see if he is truly missed. If everything in the world will weep for him, he shall go back to the gods. But if even one thing refuses, Baldur stays with me. The gods send messengers everywhere. Weep for Baldur. Weep him out of hell. And everything wept. Men, beasts, earth, stone, trees, metal, everything. Except, Except for a giantess they find in a cave. Baldur was never my friend, she says. Let Hell keep what she has. The Northmen say that the giantess must have been Loki in disguise. Ah, I see. Leave it to Loki. That sounds like a really bad show, but a really good show at the same time. <laughs> like, what's his name? Tom Hiddleston? Tom Hiddleston Loki meets the mask Loki. Ah, I can't go out there. And that Z is so tantalizingly close. It's not even a Z. Wait. 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 Backwards. Fuck! <sighs> Nobody will love her. Can you remember what love feels like? Look what happens to the thing she loves. Destroys the thing. Yep. Oh, God. This is so much just back and forth for this trial. Hello, Boulder. I'm gonna say that one's Boulder. Maybe. I don't know. I'm just guessing at this point. And this is where I get back out to see my rune stone, lore stone. Doesn't know who killed him, but we do. Do we though? Do you remember the way he looked? Man, they have the split of light and dark really well. The Northmen tell how the gods punished Loki for Baldur's death. They captured him and took him to a cave. They fetched his two sons and turned one into a wolf, and he ripped his brother apart. The gods used Loki's own son's entrails to tie him down and turned these bonds to iron and dangled a poisonous serpent over his face so that its venom would drip onto him. Each time the venom drips onto Loki's face, he writhes in agony. The Northmen say that is the cause of earthquakes. A reminder, perhaps, that if even gods must accept death, then so must we. Ah. I see. didn't believe in the curse. Dillian believed in you. That is quite morbid. And explains why Loki would hate this is all of us. Or something like that. I don't know. Why did you think you could make this work? You keep seeing runes. You see runes everywhere. Everywhere. But what if they're not real? What I mean that don't actually make sense. You've got a point. The gods were lying. If you think it makes sense, but really the gods are playing with you. whispering in your It ears. makes sense in your mind, but it doesn't make sense. Where's the arrow? The T. There you are. Dark. Quicker. Nope. I gotta go in here. Oh. Hey. There we go. <laughs> wow. My own head voices don't have much faith in me. 
Do I get to meet Hella a second time? You know, I have yet to actually fall from one of these. And I'm not not gonna make this my my one time. It's not Delian. I know for a fact that's not Delian. Very careful. Delian never much cared for the underworld. And looked dimly upon the druids, like our father, Zinbel. I guess he took after his father. A chieftain who believed nothing he couldn't see. And he happened to be blind. She felt safe in Dillion's arms. Had to see the world through his eyes. And slowly, the darkness that had bound her so tightly began to unravel. There we go. Hello! Praise the sun! No, no, that's, that's not quite what happened. Sinua. Your father cannot understand your darkness. He cannot see through your eyes. No one can. My own father was born blind. He doesn't have the faintest idea of what the night looks like. The word dark to him means as little as the word light. So someone is afraid of the dark. So we fix them by taking away their sight. Would you give up the beautiful world? That you and only you can see just to be rid of your nightmares. Or is this the price you pay for the gift you have? A gift that makes you so special in my head. Just another part of the person I love. I left for the wilds to protect you from my darkness. Because I love you. It made it worse. I'm so sorry. What if this is pointless? What if you're wrong? I will find all all these these questions later. But uh, we got one more trial. This is the end. And then we'll pull the sword. You've been fooled before. You could be fooled again. You got a point there. But. Uh, there is only one way to find out, and that's to finish the last trial and see if I get a sword. All Father Odin gave his eye in exchange for a drink from Mimir's well, the well of wisdom. Oh God! In blindness, there can be wisdom. Only by giving can you receive in return. It's for Christmas. this reason. I give my life and pass on my stories of the Northmen to you, Senua. Ah. Oh, it is Christmas time. It's suddenly cold, isn't it? Who's there? Can you hear me? I'm right here. Can't you see me? Oh. Help me. Breathe slow. It's the darkness. Stay still. Empty your thoughts. Tell me what you feel. A breeze. Good. Then there is a way out. I can't tell where it comes from. Yes, you can. I don't like this. How am I supposed to find a rune stone? I guess this is how I find a lore stone. 
I keep flip-flopping between what they're called. So this is going to be very slow progress all of a sudden. And that's just part of the wall, I think. Oh, but I like how they're doing that. I can lay out the entire room this way. Okay, where are you hiding it? Okay, it seems her memory's fairly decent on the room though. So that's good. Do I know where the lower stone is yet? <sighs> I don't think there's one in this room. Definitely not one in this room. Okay. Now if I was allowed to run in these trials. The others. Great. The voices, they've gone. I'm still here. It's so quiet. So dark. It's okay. Listen to your own breath. Feel it right. Be aware of everything you hear and feel. Let your senses guide you. I do not like this. Great. Wind chimes. I really hope this is not just going to be a case of there's no one here. Huh. Hey, I hear fire. You can't tell me that brazier's not lit. I can hear it. I guess it could be from outside, I guess. Ooh. Fire. Mmm, nice and warm. I'm gonna put my hand all up in that. Fantastic. This is a different shade of blue. Oh, it's a, it's a banner. How, how, how can I not see the fire? Okay, how can I barely see the fire? Hmm. I think I'm somewhere else now. The breeze has gone. 
Use all of your senses. Let the world speak to you. What do you hear? I hear water. Go to it. I was about to say that. I was actually legitimately about to say I hear water. This trial is bullshit, by the way. Oh, nice. Alright, 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 alright. My camera battery is about to die. It's reached the water. Good. That's your way out. Follow it upstream. I am going to swap out the camera battery real quick before I continue. And I may or may not look up to see if there's any lore stones here. Because otherwise that is going to be a lot of bullshit. Okay. So I looked it up. This challenge has no lore stones in it. So I am set to just go through this. I'm so sorry. I thought I left this all behind. Don't be sorry. It's not your fault. He was Fair. right. Okay. It's inside of me. It won't let me go. Shannon. You know My father. He taught me the hardest battles of fought in life, not the soft. Then no count. Prove that to me in the long run, try. This is just another battle. You can beat it. This isn't your battle. You don't have to help me. I want to. Besides. Fair enough. Okay. Oh. Shh. Shh. That's not good. I know what you're thinking. He's not really here. It seems there's no escaping the past in this place. So she's forced to relive it. Fair enough. Still, though, how how did I get blinded? And on top of that, what kind of a trial is this? This doesn't look like it's a good thing. I, hi, I can't even tell what I'm looking at here. There is a house. There's a house. Yeah? Tell me more, tell me more. I don't know what's inside. Don't be afraid. I hear things that I don't like. Dillian. There's something in here. Do you see it? No. Then it cannot see you. <gasps> Quietly move past it. The fuck is that? But oh, that would make sound. What the fuck is that thing? It's lovely. Okay, nothing. Oh. Oh, that's just a table. Okay. 
Okay, you're not following me. That's a bonus. Where am I to go? Where am I? going over here. I don't like that thing. I don't like that thing at all, just just cuz it's ugly. There's another. Why does there have to be another? Why are there many? That was right on me. I'm surprised I didn't just get taken out or something like that. Don't mind me, friendle. These are not good sounds in my ear holes. Uh, are we done with are we done with this challenge? Oh, that was a frame rate drop a little bit right there. Don't mind that. I think I'm in a house. It stinks. Of death. The darkness is testing you. You are in control. Yeah? Alright. Oh, are you kidding me? Is this really a thing that's happening? The well. Is it the well Don't of Mimir? Back. You're getting close. Is it the well of Mimir? <laughs> it's not the well of Mimir. Did you help me? Not water. Well, I mean, it could be water, but this is not a good situation to be in. The odds I can just just straight walk by, not worry about them at all. Not very good, apparently. Very well, actually. Okay. Is that you? I can see a light. Yes, I can 
can see you too. This is the end of the trial. Please. <laughs> I feel like I shouldn't run. I'm running anyway. Things are either going to start popping out of nowhere, or I'm going to come across the scene that I saw earlier. She could spend hours, days even, trapped within herself in the dark. You see me? Yes. Your eyes were open, but you were... gone. And when it finally let her go, she could be anywhere, with no memory of how she got there. When it comes for me, I have no power over it. But here, for the first time, Someone was there to help. But I heard your voice. You brought me back. You found your own way back. All you needed was a little help. A little hope. All right, well, I guess that's what that symbol meant. Let's pull us a new sword. Killing you would be so easy. They're taking your memories to torture. You're disappearing one memory at a time. I could imagine. I mean, every time you remember, it disappears. They're going to take I, everything. I am, I am in hell, so that's kind of a thing that would happen, I suppose. They belong to the gods, not to you. They're eating you from the inside. They want to kill you. There's one more challenge. Alright, I guess we are. Doing one more. I saw once a plague strike northern lands of ice. It was so terrible that not the oldest man among us could remember the like. Hundreds died. The sickness took nearly every person younger than 40 and many older. And where dying mothers gave birth, the marks of the plague were on the babes as they came out of the womb. Lovely. Truly, truly is. Where are we? I don't like it. This place feels... What is this place? This place feels... It's... It's a swamp. Oh, uh, that explains why the swamp was mentioned. This is the one with the two. Where are we? Turn back. This is wrong. This has right. to be wrong. So there he is. There Did he is. The oh, light. Look, Go there towards he is. it. He's in the house. Find him. He's going in. He's disappearing. Follow him. Don't let would, him disappear. but, uh, Where's it gone? Mm. Keep going. How do you find it? It's just a trial. Test. You just have yeah. to solve it, and yeah. then you will find him. Uh, then you okay. Will He's so close. So just around here there are two lore stones. Because yeah, I, I I was looking at, and it said the blindness challenge, but it was saying blindness after the swamp. So this is obviously the swamp that it's referring to. Is there a lore stone up here? Nope. Okay. Well, I guess we're dropping in. Mmm, tasty. It's a test. Like the old warrior trials. Dillian will help me. He really won't. I mean, you could believe he is. But the power was inside you all along, Senua. The stench of rot. She can almost taste it. Do you smell it? No. No. Don't worry. 
Not everyone can. It was a warm spring day when she went to the river with Dillian and the others. But the water. She could taste the rot. But no one else could. She knew something was wrong. Something sinister. She begged them to leave, but they just laughed at her. But soon enough, as the bodies piled up, no one was laughing. And they knew that she was not like them. Samuel. Oh, another... F Mother. Mother, I heard you. Where are you hiding out this time? No, seriously, where are you hiding out this time? No. No. The bridge. It's broken. Fix it. You have to fix it. I'll fix the bridge in a moment. How are you going to fix it? You can't get to the house. If my mind powers. you and I I can't find you it's not the first time this has happened as well these are not portals like the Valravan keep damn it So what is the angle I need to fix this at? Check it, check it, choo choo. There's another path this way. Oh, look! A lore stone! The Northmen speak of a death moon. A light shaped like a half moon that appears inside a house and goes around the walls. I once saw the death moon appear at a farm. And first the shepherd died, then a guest died, and then the farm hands, and then the farmer and six of his men drowned at sea. But that is not the end of it because the dead return to haunt the living. If you see the death moon, then beware, because there will be death in that house. Thanks, just a ray. It's not done yet. A ray of sunshine, Druth. So where is the angle? Oh, hey, wait. I think I know. It's got to be over here, because it's all exploding that way. goes that theory. Nope, that's a wooden post. Just a case of find the right angle. I figured it would be on the other side, or if there's a way to get up there. Oh, 
Oh, you son of a bitch. It is the fucking Valraven keep again. Voices in my head. Cho. Just like the tower, I guess it's called. This one is going to have two different versions of the world. Sign. Okay, I don't see a lore stone. Let's go in the building. Wait. Okay, I don't see a lore stone. Let's go in the building. Zenowan, come to me. Where are you? I'm here. I'm right here. Are you in there? I'm, I'm coming, but I, I got there was something an else. Called Grettir. Big, red haired, immensely strong. But he was afraid of the dark. It happened one night that an undead creature came to his house to drag him outside into darkness and kill him. He resisted with every ounce of his strength. He clung to the door frame, but it gave way, and they spilled out of the house, and the monster fell back, and the moon shone down on its ghastly face. Grettir, terrified, cuts off its head, but is cursed forever. From that moment on, wherever he was, he would see those hideous eyes staring back at him. Sometimes we allow our own fear to haunt us to our grave. Great. You know, those bugs, they actually... I was looking at him closely to see if I could see some detail. I swear I felt one on the back of my neck. It was weird. All right. What's that sound? Damien! That's not good. They're coming for me! Ah! Alright. What's just happened? What was that? What? Uh. All right. Hello, Dillion. Okay. It's close. It's close. Move away. Senua, move away. You'll die. You'll die. Okay. Not a good. Not a good place. That one. Yeah, where is Dillion? I think he would be useful. Ah, okay, so I can lure that thing around. How about I go towards Dillion's light? The light. Go towards it. Find us. To find one more. One dance. Okay. Fantastic. Too close to that. Ah, Dillion, thank you. To the last rune. Get me out of this place. Am 
working on it, girls. No, don't burn me. Damn it. So that might have been what happened. Do I get to look at my arm again? No. You son of a bitch. No, I don't have to be. I don't have to find him again. It's close. It's close. Move away. Senua, move away. You'll die. Run. Run. All right. So yes, I do have to find it all again. That is slight bullshit. That works. Okay. Do I really have to find all the runes again? Ah, uh, do not like this sequence. I feel like this would be a very easy area to fail everything that I've worked for. That's far too close. Oh, look, there's the door. Okay. Shano, what happened? They're blaming me for the plague. They say that I'm cursed. What if they're right? How would they know such a thing? Are they gods? None of us are. They're just people. Good people, but they're scared. They're afraid of what they can't see. Like children scared of the dark. They make up stories to fill the void. It doesn't make them true. What if my father was right? You have to step out of this darkness. Let them see who you really are like I am. You're not a monster. Without you, the darkness has made me a monster. All right. You've done it. You did it. The warrior trials. You need that sword. All right. The sword. Yes, let's get a sword. Let's let's With grab the reforged. You will have Odin's blessing to walk a goddess into the halls of Helheim and challenge Hela as an equal. So Dillian was helping me. And a sword will lead me to him. Like when we first met. All right. Yep, we're going to end this episode by pulling a Goddamn legendary sword. Dillian gave her the strength to pass the warrior trials. And she saw a way out. To leave her past behind. And become a warrior. In Dillian's clan. Go back, go back, go back, go back. The sword is tainted by the gods of darkness. Leave it. No. He left it here. He wants me to take it. You will pay a price for this. But years later, with Zinbel's parting words still haunting her, the darkness came back with a vengeance. The plague. Do you? Everyone suffered. 
My father was not supposed to die like this. This is your fault. You brought this plague to us. You have blood on your hands. They're coming for you now. They're coming. They're coming to get you. Hold the hell, hold the heavy, I got it. Okay, I guess we have a fight. So focus plus the mirror is... There's no way to Let me rephrase that. <laughs> In the sea of corpses, the corpse waved through itself over the ones I loved. The ship broke up under them. The ship that had sailed from the land of shining fields. Their memorial stone is sacred. Come not here in the sun. Come not with a sword. Come not crying over a naked corpse. Come not with disturbed mind. Thanks, Dillian. That's not Dillian. <laughs> Thanks, Druth. Okay. She's lost. She's lost. So. She doesn't know where she's trying to get to. Focus plus power strike equals fuck ton of damage. Anyways, though, that wraps up this episode. We have uh, defeated the four warrior trials. We found the missing lore stone. And we learned about the epic conclusion of that one dude that I, whose name I forget all of a sudden. So, if you like this video for some reason, go ahead and hit that like button. And if you're new here, why not subscribe? What's the worst that could happen? Anyways, thank you. And I hope all of you have a wonderful day. I've got a minion now. I know an oven. I see marker. Yeah. The hands, they move.